See, when you first learned that Kelly was missing, what did you believe? I didn't believe in my heart that Casey could actually hurt her. I didn't really think that it was anything more than Casey left her at Target or, you know, dropped her off. I didn't know the extent of it because I was— Why did you two break up? Um— the first time it was because she thought that, you know, she broke off the engagement because she thought I loved Kaylee more than I loved her, which was the furthest thing from the truth. I love them both. You know what? That's the first time I've ever heard that. She thought you loved Kaylee more than her? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, she has similar problems with her mother, concerned that the child looked to her grandmother as her mother. So this is a recurring problem with her? Well, that may be a little founded since Cindy did call herself mommy to Kaylee in front of Casey before. You thought initially she was not involved, and I'm guessing that you still believe it was accidental? Um, that's tough for me to say. Um, I Again, I don't know what this Casey is capable of. I know the evidence, of course, points in one direction, but I don't know what she's capable of anymore. Well, and let me I ask you this. Myself. Search your heart. What do you believe? I, I don't mean to jump in, Nancy, but I think that what Jesse's trying to say is his heart is saying one thing, his head is saying something entirely different, and that makes a tremendous difficult decision for him to come out and say that. So trying, trying to reconcile the two individuals together has been difficult for me because I remember the Casey as she was, and I try and see her for the person that she is now that's not the same person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, and that, that makes it a little bit harder when I try and put those two things together. Well, Jesse, you just said something actually that's pretty profound. I once had a trial judge that would tell the jury that they must believe beyond a reasonable doubt in their head and in their heart to a moral and reasonable certainty. So are you telling me that while you believe in your head that the evidence shows she's guilty in your heart, you still cannot believe it? It's hard for me to accept that she would do anything to Kaylee. It, it, it's very difficult for me to accept that, Nancy, and I, and I don't mean that to be patronizing or condescending to anyone out there who believes otherwise, but when you knew Casey as she was and you knew what she was like around Kaylee and how much the two of us loved Kaylee and doted on her, it's, it's difficult for me to actually commit to something like that. Jesse, what is your most vivid recollection of little Kaylee? Oh, I I've got a couple. Uh, you just said that your kids went to, uh, your, your children went to see Santa for the first time. Kaylee's first Christmas, they couldn't make it to the mall for, um, for Santa pictures, so I went and bought a cheap Santa outfit and took pictures with her on my lap as, uh, as Santa for her little holiday scrapbook. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> It's rough because every time I think about her, I realize that she's gone. And then I'm not going to get her back. And that's, that's hard. That's hard. Jesse, why did the Tot Mom accuse you of loving little Kelly more than you loved her? I mean, it, it sounds like f when I heard it, my response to her was, because I got a paternity test done that proved that I was not Kaylee's biological father. And if I didn't love Casey, wouldn't that have been the perfect time for me to just go at that point? But she didn't want to hear that. She didn't care at that point. And she wanted me to go from being Kaylee's father to just another guy in Kaylee's life. Because it seems to me, Jesse, that the kind of man I would want is somebody that does love the twins more than me because they are now the most important thing on earth to me. So why did that, why did Kelly end up being a reason that you guys broke up? I, I just don't understand why that would be a breakup. You know, I think that may have been a front for something else. I mean, her behavior completely changed at the end of the, re the relationship. She went from being a homebody who enjoyed watching movies and hanging out as a family and 
going out to dinner to somebody who blew off my brother's graduation because she had had a party the night before and she was too long over to show up. So there were some definitive changes in her behavior and I still have no explanation. I still can't reconcile who she was and then who she became. It's very difficult for me. Did you love Lily Kelly like she was your own child? A piece of paper couldn't tell me not to love her like she was my daughter.